It was 1978 when my brother J.W.B. Johnson told me that missionaries from Nigeria are coming to Ghana here. And uh, that was somewhere in October. So December they came. So we were in the church center tree, we were praying and then fasting under the instruction of uh, uh, Brother Johnson. And then uh, 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 the Lord answered our prayers and lo and behold, the first missionary came. That's the uh, 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 canon and then the maybe. They are coming to, we, are, we, we shall soon have quite missionaries coming to our land to organize the church fully. Though we were, the church was organized some years back, but it was the time in 78 that the whites came that we were fully confirmed, that we were fully members of the church, became members of the church. Now, on the, ninth, uh, on the 5th of December, 1978, they came. So he called me and then we met with them at the state transport terminus here. You see, we were praying, we were praying that the white will come because we were receiving that the, the correct mode of baptism is in the church. But we have to be baptized through the proper authority. So we were waiting for the missionaries to come. So when they came, we were very, 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 very happy that from that day on, we received the correct priesthood and then, and then uh, built the church in Ghana here. So we were very, very happy that day. Come and see here. But let me tell you something. I was there when at the maybe, at the maybe, maybe said something and said, Billy and James, I believe the church is already organized. That's what he said. So uh, after a, a lot of discussions, we went round to find a place which is suitable for the baptisms. We went round, 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 we couldn't find any place. So Brother Johnson said we should come here. When you came here, rocks, sand. The sea was... So I the baby said, no, this is the place. Uh, whenever uh, I'm told to tell the, tell the history, both here and where I visited, immediately I start, I feel the spirit. Now I feel the spirit. To what you do? Here is a sacred place. The church is true. The Lord answered our prayers, and lo and behold, the first missionary came. That's the, uh, 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 the, uh, the canon, and then the maybe. We were interviewed in the church, and the following day, we, were had, we had our interview on the 8th of December, and then the following day, the 9th of December, we were all assembled here for the first baptism. I was the number 12, the first baptism, I was number 12. When you go on church record, you see Thomas Ewudi, number 12. So interviews were, were organized and then, well, we were, we were investigators, but we were using the standard works for three years. Brother Johnson, you know, uh, 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 access to use the standard works. So all the questions came from the standard works. Now, 89 people who went to the interview, we all passed. So on the 9th of the December, that is on Saturday, we came here for the first baptism. And our brother James, he took me to church, to join the church. That is, even he told me, and he gave, he, he gave me a book of Mormon to read it. So the tension, he came to ask me to join this church. He gave me a book of Mormon to read all the time, so that I may understand why the Book of Mormon is. So he came 
and took me to church, down to Donja Church. On the uh, 9th December, 1978, we were, we were asked to meet at the meeting house at the place we went, Kokode. There we were interviewed by uh, elder and elders, maybe and canon. After the interview, we were asked to be here. In December 1978, that was on the 9th of December, Brother Cannon and maybe with their wives marched us to this particular place called Amwakofua Beach for our baptism. I had my baptism here. Elder maybe baptized me. And that very day, I was confirmed a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. During our baptizing, the, the day you, you, they baptized us, all this place is not is full of sand. It's not rocks. It's full of sand. And the place also is a cool place. Even you see the trees over here. But now, right now, no, no trees again. All have gone off. And maybe, maybe baptize me. In the, in the water. If I didn't see these rocks, like these rocks are there, it would be difficult for me to baptize. After the interview, we were asked to be here. This place has changed drastically. And we form a line. President, um, President Mensah was the first person to be baptized, followed by Pres Patrick Johnson. After that, we were called one by one to be baptized in the waters. When it reached my, that time I was pregnant. So, yeah. <laughs> so when I was put in the water, after, uh, 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 after the baptism, I heard my baby moving in my <laughs> womb. In fact, uh, it, it was a very nice thing. I was so happy. Then we were confirmed. That day that we had our baptism here, I quite remember Franklin Mesa came. Franklin Mesa, who was, I was with him in Accra, with Brother Osakre. They all came here and had their baptism here. And the confirmation too. So this is historic place, historical place. Here is historical place. So on the 9th of uh, December, that is on Saturday, we came here for the first baptism. Yeah. And then uh, the maybe and Canon, they took turns to uh, uh, baptize. Now that day, 89 people were baptized and confirmed. Brother Frank Mainzer, who saw the church first. Yes, he was baptized first, followed by Billy Johnson. And then Clement Osekre, who uh, comes from uh, uh, Tenshi, he was third. I was fourth. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know, but I'm sorry to say that three of them, they have passed on. So, the following day, which was uh, 10 December 1978, then we went to the meeting house. A few of, of us were called and given the ironic place to. I had my baptism here. Elder maybe baptized me. And that very day, I was confirmed a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. From there, I gave my testimony about the church. The happiness that engulfed my whole body 
when I was baptized has never left me. It is still within me and that has helped me to be in the church and serve on various calls. Brother Baby and Brother Khan, they come here after baptism, they, they will confirm me here. So the church is true. This is my testimony. The church has blessed my family. I was so happy. Then we were confirmed. We were confirmed. Uh, so the Holy Ghost was bestowed upon us. The following month, I gave birth to a baby boy. He has been on a mission. He was once a bishop, but now he has traveled to the United States. Yeah. <laughs> On the 10th of December at Coco House, I was given the priesthood. That is the ironic priesthood. Yes. And uh, during my ordination, I was given a lot of blessings of which I don't think I, I, can, I can remember them, but I know I was blessed. Yes. That blessing has helped me as I said, to this day, and uh, that has made me strong. That has made me to know that really our Heavenly Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, blesses us when we are obedient, when we live humbly, and when we live according to the dictates of the Spirit. The following day, which was 10 December 1978, then we went to the meeting house. A few of, of us were called and given the ironic place to. But when it was time to organize the church, a few of us uh, were given the Mackenzie place to. Bella Johnson was called as the first branch president in Ghana. I was his first counselor. I'm sorry, but uh, we see I called him. He couldn't come here. He's now the branch president of uh, 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 one, of the, one of the branches. Yes, Brother Kobner, who is now at Sacramento, he was called as our, as our clerk. In the afternoon after the church was organized, an additional um, 36 people were baptized and confirmed here on Sunday. It was about 3 o'clock. And then on Tuesday, which was uh, on, the, on the 12th, we accompanied the missionaries, Elders Maybe and Cannon, and their beautiful wives to second, second day. Yeah, at the, at, at the back of the uh, regional office. Then we, we had a baptism, second day, Saturday, Friday, where 124 people were baptized and confirmed. I was in the second group of those who were baptized. I wasn't part of the first group because I was in school. I was a school teacher and I was in school. and. When we came here, this whole place from the east to the west was covered with sand, this whole place. But then because of sand waning and environmental degradation, the sand has been washed away. So now that's what we see now. That is what we see now. But then with, in my case, there were few of us. There weren't many of us about 20 people, including myself, who were baptized in the ocean at that time. And I was baptized with my auntie, my mother's younger sister, my mother Lillian de Kessler, her younger sister uh, of blessed memory, Gloria Nete. We were baptized on that same day. That's the 24th of February, 1979. That's when we were baptized. So I was part of the second baptism. I remember, I have, I've forgotten the one who in, did the interview, but then he was a white who interviewed me at Brother Johnson's house. And that time, 
I was pregnant with her first child. Yes. So he asked me whether I was married and I told him yes because I was married to my husband. And then he passed me through so that I was baptized. That was all that that was the main question that was asked me. Later in my lifetime, when the whole church was organized, there was proper organization, the programs were put in place. When I started reading the Book of Mormon myself, praying and then pondering about the scriptures and all those things, that I had my own testimony of the truthfulness of the church. But that now we have seven children and they've all served missions. They all grew up in the church. They are raising their families in the church. The church is our life. The gospel is also our life. It's, it has been there for us and it's there for us for generations to come. And we always tell our children, this is all that we can leave for you. We have nothing earthly to give to you other than the gospel of Jesus Christ especially this whole church. That is all that we have for you. And basically your education, that will help you to go higher and to go wherever. Being in the church has been a very great blessing to me, especially to my four children boys i'm so privileged that all my boys they've been on mission and by the grace of god they return honorably and that has also helped them to have beautiful and and sincere and humble wives and 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 now through them i have nine grandchildren and i'm so happy and 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 i pray to the Lord that we all continue to endure faithfully in the church and endure to the end so that we can inherit blessings which our Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ has in store for us. It is left with my daughter. We've talked, I've talked to him, I and the mother, I've talked to him that he, she served a mission after her schooling and she has also agreed. So that lies our, 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 our peace and our happiness. So when I hear that Prophet, Prophet Joseph saw God, God the Father and the Son, I say it's true. They, uh, nothing convinced me, I, don't, I, I say it's true because I know that God can do it to that no boy, Prophet Jesus Smith, 50 years, it's all God the Father and the Son. It's not much schooling, but God took him and bring this wonderful church in Ghana. The church is true. This is my testament. The church is true. The church is sweet. You should uh, you just be faithful. That's all. And the Lord will take you through. This is my humble testament in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But I want to tell you that the church is true. I know that Joseph Smith saw God the Father and the Son. They told him not to join any other church. It is true. This is a true church. We have a living prophet. The Book of Mormon is true. When you read it, you receive so many blessings. That will help us, our family, our friends, and even our enemies. And this is what I share with you and know is true. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. So for the first four days, about 249 people were baptized and confirmed. And it went on, and it went on, and it went on. 